Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic and we are still doing the Krampus hunt. Now, catching those minions took me a long, long time and I will tell you this, one of my viewers gave me a very useful tip. He t informed me, or maybe it was she, I'm not sure. They informed me that if you use the shrimp now you have to bring them with you because you can't get them at the store at Lesney Vila. But if you bring shrimp with you and bring a lot of them, the foolish gobies will go for them and no other type of fish. So you don't have to worry about catching the other two species. You can just catch that one and focus solely on them. And that really speeded things up considerably. But once you complete that, which the problem I ran into is that I got the first the green one and the red ones completed right away and all that was left with the blue ones it took me forever to catch the blue ones I kept catching green ones <laughs> anyway yeah we are finally here to the next mission now this one is operation Santa's hat and here we have to travel to Sander Baggersy they do give you a day pass so hopefully you can get to it as you know if you have enough time First, we have to equip the feeder gingerbread house and stolen with 13.2 rod, pound rod and reel max setup. So it's got to be light. So if it's a feeder, then it has to be a bottom rod. And we have to catch the clumsy Krampus eel. Hmm. No idea where we have to find him, but let me check my rods here. I don't think any of them are under 13.2 to be perfectly honest but one of the let me come in here and see what we got as far as feeders go yeah none of these are feeders actually these are all um, bottom rods so I'm gonna look for one that's gonna work and I will let you know all right guys we are here at sander baggersy i did manage to change one of my rods over to a feeder rod i think one might be sufficient if i if it isn't going to be i can always go back and get the others i hate to have to do that but it may not be as hard to catch him as we might think we just got to probably find where he's going to be now according to the mission you have to catch the clumsy Krampus eel. We've already traveled there. I've equipped the feeder gingerbread house and s with Stalin. Stalin is a sweet thing for them to eat with 13.2 pound rod and reel max setup. In other words, it can't be bigger than that. So what I've got on here is my Laker Pro. It only goes to 13 pounds, so it stays in there. 13 pound test for the rod reel. 0.3 braid which is under 13 I think it's 11 pounds maybe no it's 13 pounds that's right here's the Stalin it's a uh, feet the other fish like it too but the clumsy Krampus eel loves it so hopefully with that and then one other thing we need to do is on this uh, feeder gingerbread house we're going to go ahead and equip it with the stuff it's supposed to attract in and that is the cookie so let's go ahead and mix it alright and it's in there hopefully that'll be enough and I hope this is the right location I really have no idea what I'm doing here guys this is like I said all new new mission new everything we're gonna try throwing this out here and seeing if this guy goes for it oh do not place rod and stand okay that's fine so apparently we got to do this the old-fashioned way. Well, I hope it works. Whoa. Well, 
little something bit at it. Something is biting it. Okay, well maybe that wasn't so bad, but I'm going to have a fight on my hands. But that's what they were trying for. We can increase the tension a little bit more. There we go. It's probably as good as we're going to get. Oh boy. Yep, he's going to be a fighter. He is going to give me a fight. That's fine. Got plenty of time. There he goes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let him take it. Because that's what he's going to do. And then when he starts to let up a little bit, then we'll start to bring him in. This is an old technique that has been working for my buddy Dula and I. You just hold it up as high as you can. When they drop off, start reeling in real fast. Sometimes you can only gain a foot at a time, but it usually works. Just remember to hold it up, and when they start to pull, just hold them there. Kind of interested to see what this guy looks like. Okay, he's only going to let me gain him a few feet at a time here. Yes, my wife is asleep. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> She's had it kind of rough. She did break her back. That was true. I've been taking care of her as best I can. I feel like I'm not doing the best I can, but... I don't know what, you do whatever you can, you know? I wish I could just make the pain go away. Come on. I think he's gonna try one more hurrah here. Yep, that's what he's doing. Remember when he backs off? Far seem to be holding him at 78. Oh, he's gonna push it a little bit more. There he goes. He look. Yeah, he's not happy. I'm spashing around out there. So I know this isn't as interesting to watch, but I'm telling you, this works. Oh, come on, you bugger. He is going to give me a fit. Almost there, and then we take it down, and that's how it's done. There he is, guys. <laughs> Look at that face. Only a mother would love that face. He's a big old fella, isn't he? Clumsy Krampus Eel. 21.195 pounds, 17.80 cash, and apparently you can keep him. He is not illegal to keep, so we are going to keep him. So mission accomplished, Operation Santa's hat. Santa will be happy to have his hat back. 25,000 cash, that paid for the trip, three gold. This red ball, this is for the tree later on, and Santa's headlamp. That's placed in my backpack. 
All right, now, hound down the Krampus Tarpon. You can locate the unlucky Krampus Tarpon by questioning his, oh gosh, here we go, dunce, crappie minions, often seen at Lone Star, Emerald, Everglades, and other locations. Keep catching them until you find out where their boss is to attract these fish, those jukeboxes. So here we go again with the grinding aspect of this. Feed it with Mega Cookie Ground Bay, casting it with your hand. Dunce crappies are especially fond of cookies with milk and won't say no to some ginger. It's probably the gingerbread. This will give us an Everglades Pass we don't really need. We've got that. Santa's Milk Popper and three gold. Holy crikeys, I have to catch that many of those. 121, 109, and 97. I've caught some of them, so I guess that wasn't a total waste. But, yeah, that's going to take some time. Well, let me go ahead and grab my rod pod. My suggestion would be to head straight to Lone Star. It's going to be the cheapest trip. All the way over here to Lone Star. Now, question is, guys, since there was a specific bait that the gobies went for, is there one the crappies go for and none of the others? That is something worth investigating. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and check and see if we got anything in our see was this thing I'll wait until darkness do we get a present that's the don't open till Christmas I thought there was some kind of oh yeah 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 it's over here let me go ahead and we need to go right over here cuz there's we can get more bait And then go back over there where the jukebox is. Yep, here it is. More ginger cookies. We can use those. Without a doubt. So I guess what we need to do here is... I think we need to figure out if there is a bait. We also need to figure out where we need to fish. Let's check the map. Well, let's look at crappie. So is there something that they go for that none of the others do? Well, there's marshmallows, maggots. We'll look at over, guys. I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'll come back and we are going to give it a try and see what happens. All right, guys, we are back. And I did some checking, did a little research, and it looks like there's three different baits that the two fish in their normal status, then when they're not red, green, or blue, go for that the others don't. And right here is obviously where we got to set things up. But it happens to be marshmallows, mi small minnows, and wax worms. And we're going to try all three and see if they are successful. We're going to start off with wax worms. Of course, that could entice the bluegill, but we're going to see which one's 
tie into these guys. And if all three of them do, good for us. I think I have more wax worms than anything else, but I do have quite a few marshmallows. Oop, too early. Dead on it. God bless it. Come on, guys, get serious. Okay, I think he's finally serious. Okay, that's marshmallows, and it works. See, so you don't have to use that special bait. We could save it. Might need it. This only gets the fish that we're interested in. Well, maybe not. Looks like they go for them. Damn. Well, what we do is we change it over to wax worms. So the gobies go for the small minnows. Don't get those. Looks like the marshmallows are a definite success. Let's see if the wax worms hold out. If not, we'll just stick with marshmallows. We're gonna switch over the marshmallows. They went for the wax worms as well. Damn. Sucks. Yep, marshmallows are it, guys. Marshmallows are it. That should speed things up for you. Got 151 of the damn thing, so I shouldn't have any problem. Well, quit. Yeah, this is much better. Now we're just focusing on these guys and these guys alone. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. There's a lot of them. 109, 121. I mean, seriously? That's like Grind City. But it's getting them. Ah, I'll be damned. Well, they did go for it. But that's the first one. Right, I am going to change this over to the marshmallows. I think we're going to have more luck with them than anything else. Right, jeez.
Yeah, we're still getting a lot more of those than we are anything else. It's like it wasn't the Apaku's preferred meal, but they will occasionally buy it on. See? Eriku, not Apaku. But it's helped a little bit, and that's the only one I can really... Well, shoot. I've tried everything else. If there's something else, guys, that you have found, be sure to put it in the comments. Now we're getting to the regular fish. Trophy white crappie. See, those marshmallows are real popular with the crappie. So that's what you should try, guys. That's what I have found so far. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of the with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, the Krampus Hunt. So until then guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye bye.